Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining today in this very special event. This is actually our first time doing an event like this. And today we want to share with you some very exciting things we've been working on. But before doing that, we'd like to talk a bit about our journey at Spline over the last few years, our 3D journey. We launched an early preview of Spline back on December 1st, 2020, with the goal of making 3D design simpler for you. Not knowing how our early design editor would be received, we were blown away by the positive response we got from everyone. Since the beginning, we've been focused on a few principles. First, we think 3D design should be easy. This may seem obvious, but historically 3D has always been really hard. It should be collaborative because we already know that collaboration is a fundamental part of the creative process. And it needs to be real time, so you don't have to wait for renders or anything like that. It should be accessible and take advantage of the known 2D paradigms so you can focus on efficiency. But more importantly, it should be a process that allows you to build something real and not just a prototype. And we're not alone in this journey. Today, the Spline community has grown to include more than 1 million users, represented in more than 150 countries. You are all contributing to this and you build this amazing community. Your continued support and feedback have been crucial to helping us build Spline. Watching what you create continually impresses and surprises us. We see your ideas come to life every day in so many ways. This is what keeps us motivated to keep pushing Spline forward, to build a better platform for everyone. In fact, Spline scenes are being viewed and interacted with by dozens of millions all around the world. All right, we would like to start by sharing something fun that we've been working on. We are introducing particles in Spline. You can now create emitters to generate particles and combine them with colliders and forces like gravity and noise. Particles allow you to achieve amazing visual effects like fire, smoke, snow, rain, sparks, and so much more, making your scenes even more dynamic and expressive. And of course, the particles can be controlled via the event system with the particles control action. So you can do things like decide when a particle emitter should be emitting or not. You can start playing with particles today. All right, now let's talk about some big things we've been working on. If you think about a general process for creation, it usually goes like this. And today, we would like to focus on this final stage, production. Spline has always pushed the limits of web technologies. Taking your designs directly to the web has never been simpler. You can go from an idea to a real interactive 3D experience running on the browser, giving you more power as a designer to ship ideas into production. But we know that 3D goes far beyond the web browser. So today, we want to announce something very special that we have been working on. Oh,
We are introducing Apple Platform support for Spline. We have built a metal-based renderer that allows you to embed native 3D content in your Swift or UI kit projects. This will take advantage of all the native performance in your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. This new native renderer enables you to bring all of the interactivity from your 3D designs beyond the web onto mobile devices. Let's see a couple of examples of how 3D experiences made on Spline work on Apple devices. Now anyone can export any Spline scene directly to a native 3D experience on your app, or quickly integrate any 3D experience into your native Swift code. Apps can now have a seamless experience that blends 3D interactivity with any type of content. Spline's powerful event system is now fully extended to enable you to create 3D interactions with native touch and gestures. And that's not all. What is more magical is the ability to update your scenes within the Spline editor and see how it updates automatically right in your app, similar to how you already do for the web. Your experiences can work on different devices and screen dimensions, which allows you to deploy multi-platform apps with 3D scenes made on Spline. You can create interactive 3D content mixed with your app's UI and UX design in the same way that you did before with images, but now it's a real-time 3D element that can react to the input on your devices. Your 3D content can naturally blend into all your Xcode projects and regardless of device orientation or screen size. Create beautiful materials and styles on the Spline Editor and bring them to life with real-time transitions and interactions. This is a new level for creating 3D interactivity that has never been seen before on Apple platforms. Just like you can do already on the web, you can also embed a section of your design or make it a full screen experience in your app. All right, let's see how all of this is possible. There are two ways of embedding native 3D experiences. One, you can easily embed them from the cloud to stay in sync with Spline's editor. Or two, you can manually download the assets and embed them locally in your project to achieve even faster loading times. The new Metal Renderer takes advantage of all of the graphics acceleration on Apple devices to give you the best possible experience, allowing you to create much more natural and innovative 3D interactions on your apps. From the start, we have built Spline to be a tool that takes advantage of all possible dimensions. And today, we are happy to share that all of this will be fully compatible with the upcoming Apple Vision Pro. Now you will be able to create spatial experiences directly from Spline. We're making sure that what we're building is compatible with emerging technologies that take you beyond the screen, and we will continue to make progress going forward. All of this is a completely new workflow to create and publish interactive 3D content for any device within the Apple ecosystem. But we didn't want to stop there. We have something to share that's even more exciting. Introducing App Generation, a new way to create native Xcode apps directly from Spline. Now you can generate Xcode projects from Spline with your custom settings so that you can publish them later into the App Store. Creating apps usually requires a lot of technical knowledge, but now this is all possible to everyone using Spline without using any additional platforms. When thinking about the design process to get 3D content into your app or building 3D apps, we usually expect it to be simple. You go from design directly into production. In reality, it actually requires more steps and a lot more effort. But now you can use Spline to go from zero to production. You can now be an app creator. Spline has gone from only embracing the web to embracing multiple platforms. 
Essentially, Spline is now multi-platform. All these features are here to supercharge designers beyond the web. The new metal renderer allows you to create 3D scenes and embed them into your Xcode projects, and even generate full applications for iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and soon the Vision OS. And now it's easier than ever to create production-ready 3D content for the entire Apple ecosystem. All of this is available in beta starting today with full implementation expected in early 2024. But there is one more thing we want to share with you today. For the last two years, we have been thinking about the entire design process. We believe combining 2D interfaces with the 3D world is a fundamental part of the process for creating truly engaging experiences. But this is also one of the hardest parts to achieve. We want to simplify your workflow and bring these two pieces together. So today, we're excited to share what we've been working on. Introducing UI Scenes, a new type of scene that allows you to easily transition between 2D and 3D, all within the Spline Editor. An entirely new way to create user interfaces for the 3D space. We have built a 2D canvas that allows you to create user interfaces and bring them directly into your 3D scenes, all within the same editor. Build components that take advantage of Spline's event system to create fully interactive UIs that integrate with the 3D space, enabling you to trigger event actions on your 3D objects directly from the UI, and vice versa. Any changes made to the UI will be automatically synced back to your 3D scene. Easily create or switch UI frames whenever you need to adapt them to a different context or to explore different variants in your design. And you can even create UI elements that are positioned in the 3D space or overlaid on the screen. We believe this merging of 2D and 3D in the same space will drastically change the way you create 3D content. Now you're able to collaborate through dimensions. The new workflow opens a myriad of possibilities for your design outcomes. Creating UIs for 3D is no longer a nightmare. Now you can do this on Spline and ship into production. So yeah, Spline is now multidimensional. UI Scenes opens a door to a new design process for creating interfaces that blend into 3D. Build UI components that integrate with the event system and create cross-dimensional designs. All of this using multi-user collaboration within the same editor. This is a fundamental change in the way we think and build interfaces for the 3D world. UI Scenes is available as an early preview starting today, with full implementation expected in early 2024. That was a lot. You can now create 3D content for the entire Apple ecosystem, in addition to any web browser, plus a new superpower to build native Xcode apps that you can later publish to the App Store yourself, so you can be an app creator. Finally, you will also have the ability to create 3D UIs using the new UI scenes, enabling you to seamlessly move between 2D and 3D design work and simplifying the process of bringing your ideas to life like never before. At Spline, we believe 3D is a fundamental part of human communication and the future for creation. There is still so much to do. We'll continue working hard to bring you the best tools so you can achieve your goals. We can't wait to see what you build with what we have shared with you today. Let's collaborate, let's design, and let's ship. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.